Symptom. It's Planet Day 5. Hey, what's up, besties? Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel once again. I hope you guys are enjoying this plan, miss, loving goodness here. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos. So today it's number five. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, a little thicker than last time. How about? Okay. And it's pink on the outside. <gasps> but on the inside, honey, it's purple. Oh my gosh, look at this color. It's like eggplant purple, I feel like. I don't know, but it's beautiful. Oh, my sister would love this. This is purple. Shay, do you see this? It's purple. OMG, I'm here for it. Ah! Okay, so moving on. So today I am going to show you guys the setup for my very first TN. You guys know I was using these covers for my mini and then something hit me and was like, girl, just try it like you like the cover you like what it has to offer you're just being lazy so just go ahead and try um a traveler's notebook and see what you know you can do with it now that it's in your size because i had a standard size before and i just couldn't get it to work for me but i found a lot of inserts and things like that that i like and i'm i just feel like i'm in a more creative space and things like that so this is my new baby and if you guys are interested in seeing how i'm going to be using her then stay tuned all right, you guys, so here is my B6 TN from the Foxy Fix. Um, I actually had, I've got like a couple of covers now, but I ordered a bunch of them um, at the same time. And so this was one of the last ones that came in. And I was like, oh, this would be so perfect for what I have in my head. So yeah, I have um, this all set up now. And you guys probably saw some sneaks on Instagram of what it looked like kind of before, but I've done a lot. This is like, y'all, if y'all do this all the time, do any setups, I don't know how y'all do this because this is going to last me at least two months before I go and take another Saturday to do all this again. But anyway, so um, this is a bow that I got um, from Hobby Lobby and then I just stuck this charm on there. It's like, it's actually like a pendant and I pinned it on the back of there and then I added a lobster clip and it just sticks on there very nicely like that. And then over here on the side, hopefully you guys can see that, I have um, just some little charms and the cutest one that I found was this calculator. I thought that was really cute since I'm like, one of the budgety ladies here part of the budget misses whatever and of course I love guy and so I had a cross art there um, moons because that's just cute and my initial and then some of these little things and I made this myself and I'll, I'll find a clip or something to like hang these on better but I was just using stuff I had at work on my lunch time and then a lobster clip to hook that onto there so that's how that is that's the outside and again this is a b6 and this is a wide um if you guys didn't know I actually have not purchased directly from foxy fix so I don't know about the time frame and stuff like that I've been going to the buy sell trade groups and getting them from there and the reason being is because um, at first I wasn't sure I was going to really like it um, and I was just using it as a purse or a cover for my mini so I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money there but now that I'm into this one I think I'm going to go ahead and make that um, spending thing happen and I'm going to get the white one or either a cream colored or something like that um, I'm not really sure yet and then just kind of trick it out and make it my own but anyway so let's go ahead and get into the inside so this is the ollie clip i have up here um just because it's cute or whatever <laughs> okay so in the inside here can you guys see this this is so adorable okay um i have this little thing keeps wanting to fall out and i'm gonna try not to take them all out because i don't want to like re-put them in here but you guys get the drift um of the theme here um this is like a simply gilded this was from her sticky notepads I just took all the rest of them off of there and added that in there and then these two they came from the northern comforts box I think that was for November 
And then this is from, I got this from uh, Golden Plans Co. And I just cut around the sticker. Like I've literally been watching all kinds of videos about setting up a B6 and getting ideas and you know what I need to do to make it you know work for me. So um, they talked about cutting those stickers and kind of making them into die cuts instead of using it as a sticker. So I just kind of have her just kind of sitting over there because she represents me cutely. And then this is a Simply Gilded card, um, washi card. And I just added some washi that I wanted to keep on hand at all times in here and just stuck that there. This is from Clever Girl, Clever, ooh, Clever Girl Crafts. That is a lot to say in one little thing. Um, Clever Girl Crafts. And I just thought this kind of went with the theme that I was going for, which is the tans and the pinks and the blacks and things like that. So um, that's my wintry feel for this time. And then this was just a sticker sheet that I got. I said I wasn't going to take these out, but... I guess I need to show the names. And this is from Philo Fabulous, I believe. I got it in Happy Meal. So I'm not really sure exactly who that is, but it's cute little um, heart stickers. And then this is Clever Girl Crafts as well. So I just stuck those in there. Um, then I have some dollies that came from um, Lisa, gave those to me. And I'm just going to have them like stuck in there strategically. You can't really see them too much, but just enough to give it a little dimension over there on the side. And then of course, some of the Simply Gilded bows. I have a long list of those down there. And then I just added two strips of Simply Gilded to the outside of this pocket and this um actually came with the um tn when i purchased it so um this like little pocket what i'm talking about it's a secretarial pocket here it's not very big but it's big enough that you can stick stuff in there all right so you're probably like girl where does red come from well this red is in here because i did the mystery kit um from uh, Foxy Fix and this was one of the ones I got. I also got a B6 in the white but it was only um, a single so it just didn't work out very well. Um, I ended up uh, giving it to someone and she has loved on it and it's looking good all right so it's just a wallet basically and so i have like my id and stuff in here and i'm getting ready to stuff my cash envelope so that's why that is in there and then i'll be sticking um i'm gonna cut these down and i'll probably be sticking them in there or figuring out some way how to keep my cash envelopes in my tn now that i have this because i'm so excited all right so this is from the digital dash um box i am in love and i'm going to do a full in-depth detail on how you can um, sign up for it and what it all includes and like walk you through the process of how to use it and how to make the things your own because I think it's so important but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this and then I'll show you guys the subscription process and this is just the Ollie clip that I have here over here I have um, on the back of this oh first of all this is a dashboard that I made out of lamination um, thank you CJ for walking me through this I basically um, cut the lemon I cut one sheet of lamination into the size of a b6 and then I turned it backwards and then I um, laminated that and I ran it through the laminator twice and then I just cut it open at the top so I'm able to stick things in through the top part so yeah that's my whole thing there I'm really excited about these because I was definitely ordering more because I ordered some for my Erin Condren folio that I have and um, I forgot to order some of these from 1407 so this came in clutch okay so on this side of it I just have a picture of me and Bay. this is one of my favorite pictures of us we were in Atlanta and I just love that picture and then of of course Bubba Bear is in here and then this just is a sticker from Erin Condren her last box that she had new year new feels new chances same dreams fresh start I just thought that was cute then it goes into this is also from the digital dash box this is a insert here and excuse this like when I ran it through the foiling machine it just wanted to act crazy and got stuck but yeah this is foiled it doesn't come foiled you have to foil it if you want to it just so happens I printed that all on um, a laser color printer and then I just put the foil over there all right and then this is how the inserts look it's um, a week on two pages and then it has the bottom part here this is kind of like where I started like doing some mock planning here I really really like it I think it's super cute and this was just the kit that I had um, printed out from Pet Petticoat Bandit and then I have this ready to go for this week when I get ready to start planning you guys are going to see that or you might have already saw it and I'll be adding that there anyways. Um, so then it, this is the back of that dashboard and it just says, you probably can't see it too well. It says what feels like the end is often the beginning. And then I just stuck um, two pieces of Simply Gilded there. And then one of these cute girls from Les Cinq, 
out. I believe that's right. Um, LCA. I'll have all that stuff linked down below. She has these cute little die cuts that you can purchase. And then this is um, another one, another dashboard back part. Um, I just put some Simply Gilded tape on, let me washi, and use it as tape to do this Villa Beautiful. It comes like this when you buy something from her so I just stuck it on that black paper and then I added the this little M emblem for my name and I just thought this was cute and I wanted to add that in there again that one is from um, LCA as well and then this is one of the where did I get this paper from I think I got it from Justinia's printables I believe that's where that one came from um, but I printed it out on vellum you can print it out on acetate as well um, and I'll be showing you guys <clears throat> excuse me I'll be showing you guys how to foil how to do all of that stuff you'll see all of that here very soon so just stay tuned so you can see how you can make your own acetate and vellum sheets and then it goes into the monthly which I really really like this monthly this is from Justinia's uh, printables and it has the notes page at the front and then when you go in here, it has like the month over here. Now this month is really small. I'm not really sure how I'm going to work this out, but I really like the fact that on this side, it has all of your bills and your due dates and stuff like that. So this may be my budget planner and then I may find another monthly, like just a monthly altogether. And this may be just for like budgeting and stuff. I'm not really sure yet, but I like it where it's at. So we might be doing that. We'll see how, how we can make that shake. But yeah, this is the full year. It starts in 2019. And then I just have that back page. And then here is another one from the Digital Dash box. And I just love this. And I have this little pin loop. Um, this came from... Um, Liz as well and she sent that to me so I'll be making some more of my own I found some more elastic that's what I'm gonna look for as well so I can just make some more that are more fitting and then it just has my pin gems pin from one of the latest releases um I think this was part of the wine collection or something but I'm not sure if I'm gonna interchange between this one here from Villa Beautiful or this pin gems that I've actually changed the ink out on so there's that but I just think this picture is so adorable and then on the back it says um, she has fire in her soul and grace in her heart and then I stuck these boss babe stickers down here and these and then my initials and then it goes into um, the YouTube planner and this um, this title page comes from Jacinia's printables but then this comes from pristine printables I believe I'll have her name linked down below I know I'm terrible at that um but I'll have that link down below so you can see it and she just comes out with these cute little printables this is a YouTube planner so you can do um like your video title your categories I just thought this would be great for on the go type stuff um and then also stuck inside of there so I didn't like jump band it or anything I just stuck it inside of there there is a blog post planner so I figured this would be very helpful and I can make like a little tab to show me where it starts and stops and stuff um where it goes to the blog planner and then goes to YouTube because yeah that's that's my life but anyways so there's that and then on the back side I just have a picture of Marley and then a picture of me that I thought was kind of cute on the back of this dashboard and I think this this dashboard came from Digital Dash as well and it was a foiled one like you could foil it if you wanted to so I did do the foiled option and then I just stuck this picture of me and babe because this says winter wishes snowflake kisses and this is just him giving me some kisses and some loving and I think that's cute and then it goes into my Etsy section and this has like some shop projects I just got this from Justinia's printables so I'm excited to you know kind of put this to use and it has collection the release date collection release date any notes that you have um I think this would be a good for me because I need to track more and stay on task more um there's a lot of times I create stickers and then I just forget to list them so that is like my biggest thing so this will help me definitely be able to do that all right so then this is one of the little hearts I think I got this from um the honeybee shop I believe so that came from the honeybee shop and I just have that kind of stick in there I think I'm supposed to stick it on the side though so let me move this to the side I mean of course you can stick it wherever you want to but I think it's supposed to go over to the side so this is my finances section and it's just a piece of vellum um on top of that and I foiled the finances part on there as well in like a pink color and this is what I'm going to be using for to keep track of my sinking funds and this is just 12 pages and this one came from the pristine um 
printable lady again <laughs> i forget the name of that um of her shop for sure but i'll have it listed down below um they're definitely affordable and i love the fact they were easy to print out and easy to cut and uh, figure out how to use them so that was perfect for me um again i have just another piece of vellum back here and then this is my notes section and this is from jesenia's printables as well and then this came from Oso paper co i'm so glad like i did a lot of i bought a lot of die cuts at one time and i had no idea what i was going to do with them and like now they're coming in handy to use here you know throughout my um planner like everything's starting to come together and i love it and then this is just a piece of gray because this was like gray here and I had some gray washi tape from Simply Gilded. I just thought it would be cute to like stick that on there. It looks like she's writing notes anyway. So that was cute. And of course I foiled it in pink. And then ignore this little stuff over here. This happens when I foiled it. It got stuck. The, you can see it's the same design from that daily uh, December planner. Okay, and then this is just notes. And like just notes and notes and notes. I love that she came out with, um, when I printed it out, it was seven pages. Um, wow, it's just getting out of focus. Sorry about that okay hopefully it stops so this is just the notes pages and again it came with like 14 pages of notes so that's really good you have a lot of room to write things in and i feel like that is like very very helpful and then the notes page come on now then the notes page at the end i don't know why it's doing that it's really weird and then here is the end of that wallet insert like you can put some cash some cards whatever you want to carry in there and then this is my back little part and i love this because it has nothing to do with all of the cutesy like themed stuff in the front this is like me in the back like it's just crazy and wild and all of these different little um things that I got here they were some of them were gifted to me some of them I bought from different shops um but yeah like I just love how they just stick they just stick on here so cute and I have a dolly back there and then um one of the simply gilded cards to kind of give it some dimension in the back and I loved like I love how it looks because it's so unorganized but organized at the same time it's like organized chaos for sure all right you guys so that is my TN and I hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know what you guys think about my setup maybe one day when I get comfortable I'll do a setup with you guys on here but I know that's like it's it's a lot of work like it literally took me all day on a Saturday like I started with one thing and then moved into something else and this was just a lot of work so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Oh, and today's mystery word is Bubba. The mystery word for today is Bubba. I know I put that all the way at the end, but I may flash it on the screen before then for those who didn't make it to the end. But yeah, it's Bubba. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Mwah! KK, bye!